Yeah, so Steve Goldman, I'm the GIS manager and UAS coordinator at the Department of Fish and Wildlife in California. I had met Debbie before and knew about the technology that Wildlife Drones uh, was offering. And I mentioned that to Scott and the discussion opened up with Alice as well and, and it kind of went from there. So I'm uh, Scott Osborne, a Senior Environmental Scientist Specialist, also with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife in the Wildlife Branch Wildlife Diversity Program. One of the things we thought would be helpful would be adding in an aerial tracking component. And so at the department, our main role was trying to provide support for that through our pilot wardens who are in fixed wing aircraft. Um, but there were a lot of limitations on, on their availability and over certain areas. So that's when we started talking about possibly using a drone mounted receiver. And I'm Alice Chandler Cooper. I'm a program manager for the Clean National Park Service. We've tracked uh, Myotis lysificus, the little brown bat, and Myotis humanensis, the Yuma Myotis, for the purposes of trying to uh, locate roosts that those bats are using in fall and winter. The typical challenges of tracking bats are simply that the bats are small, therefore the tags are small, which means they have limited distance that the signal can travel. Um, they have a limited duration, you know, lifespan. I would add to that what, uh, that, again, rugged topography makes uh, getting a signal uh, difficult in addition to them being under impervious cover sometimes. Uh, and, you know, it's a poorly roaded area. It's hard to do field work when you can't, you know, drive all over the place and find the bats. Yeah, access has definitely been a, a major challenge is um, getting up to places where we have good vantage points for for being able to, yeah, the pick the spots that we want to do telemetry from, but, you know, have an antenna that's way up in the air, which massively increases our ability to detect anything. Based on the little trial we had uh, there with Steve and his folks, I think it's pretty interesting and it gives us a lot of stuff to think about and talk about as we're looking at it.